When you don't activate it with faith, that is where there is a problem. You must activate it with faith. So please, we must note those, th those two things together. So as children of God, if you've given your life to Jesus Christ, you are sanctified, baptized with the Holy Spirit. Because when you give your life to Jesus Christ, you confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You must receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. So it is when you are baptized with the Holy Spirit, then you can exercise that power. All the gifts that the Holy Spirit has given you, you'll be able to exercise it. When the enemy comes to you, you are able to confront him with the power of the Holy Spirit in you. With that boldness, using all the weapons that the Lord has used for you. For instance, this is a very simple practical example before we close. And for individuals that you've not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you need to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I'll pray with you. And I know that the Lord himself will baptize you with the gift of the Holy Spirit. For instance, if you are faced with a situation of, you have a job interview. And you are about 10 people that have the job interview. You are a child of God. You have power. You have the power to decree and declare. And you receiving that testimony. But if you don't exercise that power by praying, fasting, doing anything that the Lord tells you to do, then another person, an Eden, can get the job before you. You have the power to wake up before others wake up, to command your day, command your morning, and speak into the day, and speak into the situation that you are, you'll be favored. And you will be favored because you have that power to decree and declare. You have the power over the serpent, over scorpions, over dark powers. You have that power. The Lord has given you that authority, which you must exercise by faith. But for you to be able to exercise it, you must receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Because the baptism of the Holy Spirit is something the enemy doesn't want Christians to have at all. Speaking in tongues is a language that the enemy doesn't understand at all. He doesn't understand what you're saying. You are, you are speaking to Jehovah. And your answer will be, your prayers will be answered speedily because you are, you are speaking. Your flesh is dead. You are speaking the language, sp spiritual language. And I know that one day, the Lord will come and teach us. The Holy Spirit has even inspired me that I should pray in the Spirit and put it down on, the, on this page. So that people that maybe they want to speak in spirits or anything, they will, they will be able to watch it and connect with the power of the Holy Spirit. So if you've not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, I'm going to pray with you. And I know that within the next seven days, you will come back to testify that you've received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. But if you know that you are not even yet a child of God, that your spiritual life is just up, down, up, down, this is the moment for you to give your life to Jesus Christ. And this is all you need to do. All you need to say is, you say, Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner. Please forgive me my sins. Write my name in the book of life. Send your Holy Spirit to me. I renounce you, Satan, and your works in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. If you know you said that prayer, I'll pray with you and I'll tell you the practical thing to do. Father Lord, I pray for this, your children that said this prayer. Everlasting Father, please give them the grace to finish all. Anything that will draw them away from you, Father, let it not happen, Lord. Help them to finish well, Lord, in the name of Jesus. As their names has been written in the book of life, let it be permanently there in the name of Jesus. Give them the sustaining grace to finish well. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. And for individuals that are connected, that they don't have the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Oh Lord, my Father, you say we should ask anything in your name that shall be granted. For as many people that desire this gift, Lord, my Father, that desire the baptism of the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, please baptize them. Baptize them with the evidence of speaking in tongues. In the mighty name of Jesus. And for all of us that listen to this message, Father, please let us not just be hearers, but doers of your word, Lord. Give us the grace to exercise that power that you have given unto us in the mighty name of jesus christ i have prayed amen 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 hallelujah god you're so good god you're so good god you're so good you're so good god you're so good you're so good god you're so good you are so good and i know that as the lord has taught us today we'll begin to exercise that power 
you carry power, my, my brother, my sister. Begin to use it. Don't be fleeing from the enemy. Confront the enemy. You have the power. And the enemy doesn't want you to exercise that power. That's why he keeps intimidating you and putting fear in you. Do not allow him anymore. No matter the situation you're going through, you have the power to face that circumstance and speak to that, that situation and use all the weapons that the Lord has given you to say, you situation, hear the word of the Lord. I've got the power and an authority that the Lord has given me. Begin to move. That mountain, move. That situation, move. And I know that God will answer you in the name of Jesus Christ. I have some few announcements. Today is a long teaching, is it not? That's how the Holy Spirit leads us home. I love God so much. Yes, we have some few books here. Somebody was sending. We have some free ebooks actually. If you want some free ebooks, go to smashwords.com. Smashwords.com and type Mary Ajakaye and you see some of the free ebooks there. They are quite nice. There are prayer points there that could that will also help you. There's one particular teaching, Path to Eternal Life. That was like a, a non like a fiction book. You'll like it. You'll like it. But meanwhile, we still have some books. There are quite a lot of books. There's, still, there's a book in making that's already out. Then my latest book I'll bring in next week. Commanding Our Morning here. Yeah. Uh, prayer manual. Are you truly a child of God? Deep secret, the silence of God. Prayer is a burden. So anyone that you want, just send a private message to me. Send an email to me at uh, foundation on a solid drop ministries at yahoo.co.uk foundation on a solid drop ministries at yahoo.co.uk and I will definitely reply you in the name of Jesus. Follow us on Facebook. Uh, on Facebook, we are Foundation on a Solid Rock Ministry, Matthew 7, verse 25. Make sure you put the Matthew 7, verse 25. You might be wondering why Matthew 7, verse 25. That was the Bible passage the Lord gave me when he wanted me to start the ministry with the name of Foundation on a Solid Rock Ministry. So please make sure you put that Matthew 7, verse 25 there. And then follow us. Then if you're connected right now, we're starting our Jews fast. We always have a fasting every month the last three days of the month that is the last two days going into the new month and it is a jews fast that means we'll break with only jews that's the only thing we break with and water so try and connect it's going to be on facebook it's going to be powerful this time around january own hmm. the enemy will not want some people to pray it is a deliverance session don't miss it for anything three days of forfeiting food and forfeiting jollof rice and forfeiting fried rice and chinese rice and pizza and uh, beans pudding will not kill you please so please try and connect the testimonies i know that the lord will do what only him can do in this juice fast in the name of jesus so try and connect all the activities the timing is already on the facebook so try and connect we're starting on tuesday by god's grace 12 noon that's when we're going to meet and I know that God will help each one of us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I remain evangelist Mary O. Ajakaye. And, and, and I know that God Almighty that has given us the grace to know him will give us the grace to finish well. And for individuals that you just said that prayer of salvation, please walk your salvation with fear and trembling. By reading the word of God, obeying the word of God and listening to teachings like this, follow Foundation on a Solid Rock Ministry. Don't forget to subscribe like and share and i know that god will help each one of us in the mighty name of jesus i will see you next week sunday by god's grace have a lovely testimony filled week god bless you shalom